burning question is this. We got married civilly, but the wedding isn't until the fall. Is sex okay now? Wow. You are like starting out off the gate. With, this is something that is on the actual line. I've wondered I have I've thought about this. I wondered this at one point. Because okay, before I answer this question, let me reverse the roles. Okay. So say you got married before God mm -hmm. at a small wedding, not, right. not a big wedding, but say you got married before God at a small wedding, but you weren't legally married. Mm -hmm. Would it be okay what, then? What qualifies as before God? Uh, would, you know, your pastor was there. Maybe a few friends were there. So witnesses. You were on a mission trip. I know people who did this. Okay. Because I've heard of people who said, you know, grab my hands. I do. I do. We are technically married before God and we're good to go. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, I, I feel like with the absence of other people or community, there's, there's a level of, what I'm if, just trying to. What if you had one witness? It's circumstantial. Yeah. It's so circumstantial. Okay, so here's the reality. Yeah. Uh is we both know people on both sides of the coin. Let me also let me also before I say the last thing, let me say this. I know people who whenever they were engaged, they could not wait to have sex. They were burning with lust for each other and they went and got civilly married so they could have sex before their wedding. You did? Yes. You know people? I know. I did not, but I do know people oh. who have done that. So this is what I've seen. I've seen people who were legally married for other reasons mm -hmm. and had a wedding later on and did not have sex. Between the yeah. civil marriage and yeah. the Between wedding? Between the civil and the, wed and the wedding. They did not have sex. I also know people who were civilly married so that they could have sex before their wedding. And then I also know people who were married mm -hmm. before God, had sex, and then made it legal weeks or months later. Okay. So this is what I'll say. I don't think that there's necessarily a clean and clear answer. But what I can say is the moment that you vow your entire life to that person before God being married by someone, whether it's your pastor, a priest, or someone at the courthouse, and your intention is from this moment forward, we're living together. I, my life is not apart from you. I feel I don't I don't just do this for some legal ramification, but I am now officially wedded to this person and I have a witness. That's when I think you can have sex. But I think what matters is the motive. Hmm. Because some people, their motive for getting civilly married is Hey, we're from two different countries. We need to start a we need to start a visa application. Well, if your motive is to get a visa and be civilly married before your actual wedding, then you're not married. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's just a piece that's of a, paper. That's it's a not a covenant. That's a legality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, conversely, the people who could not wait to to have who who so viscerally did not want to have sex. That they did what Paul said to do right. is if you are burning with lust, they were, get married. They were burning with lust for one another. So they made the responsible decision to say, we're going to make it official right now. We went to the courthouse. We filled out the And paperwork. we didn't view this as just a legality. No. We viewed this, this as This was not a, a loophole. This is, I'm trying to stay righteous. And this seems like the only way to be righteous before God. So therefore, I say I don't know that I could draw a hard line in the sand, but let me say this. I do think I do put a little more weight in the wedding, but you know, the actual wedding before God than I would the civil piece of paper. But I think the biggest thing is motive. Mm. I also would say, uh, what's, 
what does your conviction say? Right, true. Like, ask the Holy Spirit. You know, like, if you're submitting a question into our question box because you're looking for someone to give you permission, but you feel a check in your spirit about it, then the answer that you're looking for is probably, oh, I should wait until my wedding in the fall. Exactly. Um, but if, you know, if you're dealing with some circumstances that are unsaid or untalked about here, then you're going to have to, you're going to have to take that to the Holy Spirit and say, I need you to show me what is right and wrong, righteous right. and unrighteous. And let's talk about people in COVID. You know what I mean? There were a number of people who had, uh, you know, who had planned a wedding during the COVID season, but because because of obviously COVID shutting the world down, they postponed their wedding. Okay, well then, if they were to take the step to get legally married, it it was for no other reason than, hey, the world shut down our plans. We don't know we, when we're going to yeah, be able to. Yeah. We're ready to get married. We do want to celebrate. We do want to have a ceremony. But we're actually ready to be mm. together now and we can celebrate later. So I know that, you know, people who are, are very black and white might be kicking and screaming as they listen to this. But I really do think it has a lot to do with your heart and your motive. Yeah, I think that's really good. And also not done in secrecy. Totally. I feel like nothing done in secrecy is probably right. So bring your family into it, among other things. Make sure those who you know, love, and trust um, are probably in agreement or understanding fully what you're doing. Totally. When we were, well, before we were dating, I was going to say when we were dating, before we were dating, I even had a uh, conviction that was, if I can't talk about this in front of everyone, yeah, I shouldn't do it. Right. Like, if I don't feel like I can have a level of honesty about the things that I'm doing or saying, the words that come out of my mouth, if I can't be honest about that, then it's probably not something I should be partaking in. That's such a good litmus test.